Now talk about conspiracy theories. People that build houses where the room is just one inch bigger than the carpet, that's a conspiracy against carpet installers. What's good? It's Carpet Mike here from CarpetExpertBlueprint.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to patch carpet in a doorway. Now, if you were to do carpet by the books, you would slide this carpet over, have it catch the doorway seam, and then do a ridiculously long seam on the opposite wall to do it the right way. We are not about doing it the right way around here over though. We're gonna go ahead and run a row. We're gonna take a top cutter. This in itself is outside of my realm. We try to freestyle everything, but that's okay. Back to what I was saying there. We're going to go ahead and take a flathead screwdriver. We ran it right in between those carpet fibers. We took a top cutter and we traced the line we just put in there, putting a nice fresh edge on it. And then we removed the excess with my knife. Next, we're going to go ahead and throw a little bit of seam tape under there and get it lined up from door jam to door jam and sitting halfway under the seam. Okay, everything's lining up good. We are moving right along. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab a scrap piece of carpet line up this carpet here now there is a pattern to it you want to go ahead and line up that pattern just right or just make it so it looks like the pattern's lined up right and that's good enough to get paid now we're going to go ahead and take our knife we're going to slide it over make sure everything's looking good make a little release cut on that drop it into place boy that was a bad camera angle you can't even see what i'm lining up over there but that's okay we're going to get it stick with me here we're going to go ahead and make the cut there a few little more release cuts. Everything's lined up. Let's go ahead and set up the other side. You get a better angle from over here. Line it up with the door jam. Look at my knee in my way. Oh my goodness. Yeah, like I couldn't have hired a worse camera person, me, to go ahead and do this. Now, we're going to go ahead and tie it into the existing carpet on the sides where it's going to be like a one inch type cross seam. So we just want to get a nice fresh cut and then tuck it right down alongside it there. So, Watch while we do this with the seam iron here. We get the iron in place, got the carpet lined up. Now, your starting point and finish point are gonna be crucial because we have these little baby cross seams that we're gonna put together. But thankfully, we have a door sitting right on top of one because it's at the door jam just inside of that. The other one is gonna be exposed though, so you definitely wanna be sure that lines up right. So the first one, everything's lined up good. I got the little baby cross seam lined up. I got the running seam going together beautifully so far. Blend that in with my fingertips. Oh, so nice. Not to mention, why is the spike in pattern carpets just going through the roof right now? I don't know if y'all are dealing with that too, but we have been selling tons of patterns these days. I don't know why, but the market is hot on them at the moment. Take the iron down to the other end there. We're going to swoop that out. Put that seam together. Make sure that little baby cross joint is lined up properly there so we don't have any snags and ugly runs from it. Look at that. Oh, that's a beautiful thing, but we are not done yet. Let's go ahead and get rid of this excess carpet over here. Lay that down. Really call the little release cuts around the door jam. Make everything looking pretty. Mm, that's pretty nice. All right, good, good, good. Tuck it in. Now we're gonna go ahead and take that hallway carpet. We're gonna drop it down and we're gonna get a nice clean seam edge and tie everything together here. So look at that, we got that old seam tape there. Let's get rid of that. Just rip that right off of there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and throw a clean edge on that because we don't want that janky stuff coming into the bedroom with this beautiful new carpet we just dropped down. Let's throw a nice freestyle cut. Ah, back in my realm there, freestyle seams. Got a nice fresh edge on that. I'm gonna put a fresh blade in there next, and we're gonna go ahead, and I think I did a trace cut on this one here. Didn't even bother doing the connect the dots game, so let's see what I did. Oh yeah, trace cut all the way down with a fresh blade. Life is good. Lob that off. Let's get rid of all those extras there. Okay, good, good, good. Then we're gonna throw the seam tape in place and we're gonna go ahead and burn this final piece together. Now that I have your attention here, I want you to focus in on this. Business is booming everywhere. If you're not taking advantage of all the opportunity in the marketplace, I need you to reconsider. If you get over to CarpetRepairCheatCode.com, I'm going to show you exactly how to make $75 to $125 per hour doing really basic carpet seams like this. You don't need a van. You just need some few tools, some basic knowledge, and start selling these customers on why you are the most amazing thing in the industry. You're going to make a quick $75 to $125 an hour. Pay down that credit card debt. Get yourself some new toys and love your life. That's it. That's what this is all about. Whoo! Let's get that seam iron out of there. Let's get in the game of carpet repairs. Go ahead and comment below with any questions. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.